Well, a subscriber asked how to make a boat propeller or fishing lure spinner thingy. So I had a bit hack around and I've come up with something. Let's see how to do that. First of all, we'll start off with a circle. We're using this circle tool over here. So I'm going to make this for this demo. I'm going to make it with a 12 millimeter shaft. 12 diameter. Pull. And to give us plenty of scope, I'll make it a, a hundred long. And now we're going to put a section along lengthwise along it. So we'll need to select. We'll press S for select. Select the centre line. Press the K key to put a sketch plane on. And v to bring it vertical. I like them vertical. So this gadget down here, this ring around it. Click on that and it turns it round. Keep clicking and you can go round and round. Now I'm going to put a little rectangle somewhere near the middle, about here, which I'm going to make one millimetre by oh, 20 millimetres. P for pull tool, select our little rectangle, we're going to revolve it, select an axis to rotate about, there we are, now we're going to revolve a helix. Now I've done this before so I've already got 40 millimeter in for the pitch and I'm also going to make the height 40 millimeter. and hit the return key and we've got a helix S for select V now that is the starting end, that line represents the starting end we want a piece of it down here, a complete piece so with the end selected and select circle we can put a circle on here now that's exactly right we want it to intersect touch the outside edge and intersect the central shaft by just about that amount Now we also need a concentric circle around everything. We'll see why in a minute. P for pull. Go back into design mode. Now we're going to select the outer, leaving the circle clear. And we're going to remove by selecting the cut here. Cut. And then right left click rather and drag keep dragging and you drag away all the spiral except one piece here and you've guessed it that's one of our blades we don't need this so we can turn that off we have a spurious line so that's for select and we can delete that with the delete key and there we are we've got that one blade down here if we press the Z brings us all nicely in line uh, select we can draw a box around the blade move tool and then we can move this to the center of our shaft select create patterns and then we can rotate this It's 
a bit sluggish, there's quite a bit of geometry going on here. So we want to, uh, if we get it just right, we'll get three and release. Pull and we can shorten our shaft to a reasonable length. As a boat propeller, if we want to make it out of bronze, display uh, solid colour bronze metallic. Move solid. Now you may want to put some stress relief into these sharp corners at the root of each blade. So with the pull tool and uh, we're going to have the rounded corner so double click and make sure that you've got the, the, the root corner selected because the first time you double click it may select round here. If that happens, just double click again. It'll, it'll try and find a, a different route, and if it can, it'll do it. So it should accept that one. So once you've got that selected, just type one for one millimeter radius, return, and lo and behold, it's done all three because the three blades were made from one blade, so it's done them all which is very nice of it so there it is and that's our propeller or fishing spinner I do believe a spinner might need to have a stronger angle on here so instead of 40 you might want to use 50, 60 or or 70 I don't know to get a, a much coarser spin because we're of course you're trying to make this thing spin with the flow of the river water so i hope you find that useful and interesting and i'll see you again quite soon bye